A terrorist attack on Jewish leaders in Jerusalem has prompted the NYPD to step up security at places of worship in our area. Five people killed during early morning prayers inside a synagogue, three of them American rabbis, one with family in the New York area. CBS 2's Christine Sloan reports. Tears and sorrow at the funeral for three American rabbis killed during a terrorist attack in a Jerusalem synagogue. One of them, Rabbi Moshe Torsky, had close ties to New York and New Jersey. The world has lost a gentle scholar who never heard a never heard a person in his life and who wished well to everyone. And he was taken taken from us while he was talking to God. Mayor Lichtenstein was there when Rabbi Torsky's son, Rafal, got the news at his Lakewood, New Jersey apartment that these two Palestinian cousins, armed with a meat cleaver and a pistol, stormed the synagogue, killing his father. Well, I walked into the apartment and he was just crying, you know, sobbing. The rabbi's son, a student at this rabbinical college, made it on a plane, but not in time for his father's funeral. And the Jewish religion burial has to take place within 24 hours of death. I feel sorry for all the kids who've been filled up with hate and will never have the chance to know people like him. Rabbi Torsky was born in Boston, but had been in Israel for the past 30 years. His father and grandfather come from a rabbinical dynasty. Yes. Raphael's grandfather was a very, very noted, a very noted rabbi, Rabbi Soloveitchik, and he was uh, considered from the top uh, leading, leading figures in, uh, in Judaism. The entire community of Lakewood is so sad over what happened. Almost everyone here has family in Israel. This is regular residents going to a synagogue to pray, and that's how this terrorism happens. So this certainly is a wake-up call to all of us to be vigilant. Not only vigilant in Israel, but the NYPD is bolstering security at synagogues and other locations throughout New York City. New Jersey is doing the same in the suburbs. In Lakewood, Christine Sloan, CBS 2 News. In addition to the four rabbis, a police officer was also killed in the attack in Jerusalem.